morning in the Red Show Kitchen. One of our favorites joins us to make some spaghetti squash. Mm. Bob, excuse me. Bob, we're on. Oh. We're on. I, I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm like William Shatner peering through the window <laughs> uh, at the and bacon. What, I was going to say, what, what has your attention? Shatner. The bacon. Shatner would say, the bacon. It's all about the bacon, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> and I'm staring through the window. I love watching bacon cook. Um, it's one I of those things that's so active. It's uh, such a, and you got to get it at exactly, at exactly the, right, the right moment. Because mm -hmm. some people like it a little limp. Other people like it a little crispy. You got to have a little bite to it. That's for sure. But not too much. No. And so I'm you gotta prepared watch, to eat many slices of that bacon. You got to watch your bacon. But we didn't so come good. to talk about that today. No. But have some snack bacon, whip it up, it's always a good treat. Hey, We're going to make spaghetti squash today. And it is really simple and easy to do, and it's a good alternative to maybe a pasta. You can pair it with whatever you want. What do we need? I, uh, first of all, want to thank you for wearing the uh, official spaghetti squash dress of the <laughs> day. Because that is it definitely, if you look on the, the designer's... You look on. I don't know. I was just saying, I have your little sticker that oh, came yeah, on the squash. Oh yeah, yeah. Four six six right. seven. I'm going to stick it on me. Four six six seven. That's the number for the, the squash. squash. <laughs> it's official. Uh, what you want to do with squash because squash is very neutral, so you want to add flavor to the squash. So yeah. people they go into the ice cream places and they add in all those things. Mm -hmm. It's like ice cream, squash, and a lot of people avoid squash because it's so bland. They just yeah. put a little butter and salt and pepper. It's not going to cut it. Okay. So what we're going to do today is make two variations. One that's going to have a little tomato and uh, Parmesan cheese. Mm. So it's almost like spaghetti. If you okay. want to get your yep. kids a little less pasta, this is like eating spaghetti. Good. Because it shreds up and it looks like spaghetti. Yeah. And then, of course, we're going to go a little French with a little rosemary and butter mm. in the other s version of it. And Sounds it's really so easy good. to make. We're going to cut it in half, put it on this, pop it in the oven, and... We'll show you just how easy it is. Yeah. And we might some even bacon as well. Put some bacon in it. Who knows? Have fun with it. All right, we'll get cooking in just a bit. Stick around. Thanks so much, Brendan. We are back in the Road to Kitchen this morning with Bob Burke and Pata Fio. Spaghetti squash on the menu. And of course he made snack bacon, which is just irresistible, and I can't wait to dive in. Just didn't want Brendan. Um, hey, hey, you're hey, on, hey I didn't want Brendan. I didn't want Brendan to be oh done, so. Hey, Will, Will, Will. <laughs> did that little twerp Sheldon ever answer our challenge with I don't, the bow tie? I don't think he did. Yeah, well, let's get him on the horn and get him down here to kick his butt. Bacon's delicious. Oh, yeah, the bacon is delicious, and so is spaghetti oh, squash. Yeah. So, Bob, bring us up to speed here on what you've done. Okay, so uh, we actually, you take it, you cut it in half, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to show you here. Oh, Lengthwise. William I, I Shatner know. peering out of the Blue Origin doorway. Um, I'm obsessed with this whole thing with space and Shatner, and I want to go up and cook on the, I want to be the first guy to cook on Blue Origin. Bob, put it this way, I would not be shocked if come this time next year you said, I'm going to space. <laughs> I'm say, cooking okay, in space. It's Bob, why I'm not? making puddle fur in the stratosphere. So this is what it looks like when it comes out. Mm, we nice cut it in half, and you just put a little water in the pan. But the thing you want to do, you, you know, at home, let it cool. Yeah. Okay? But, and, you have hands. but all we're going to do is we're just going to scrape out the seeds like it was a pumpkin, mm -hmm. becoming a jack o' lantern. And then you'll see that it shreds just with a fork it it's just shreds so easy with a fork into maybe you can hold some up and show people yeah, what sure. it looks like it this then, is where it gets its name right spaghetti squash it looks like spaghetti and it's just falling off yep it's beautiful so i'm going to continue to shred a little of this right here and then and you have some fun add-ins now and this is where most people stop and this is why people go squash again. It's bland. Because I it's don't bland like it. and it's, you know. So, what we're going to do now is mm -hmm. put a little flavor in. Okay. And we're going to put our chopped cherry tomatoes. Beautiful. And we'll mix those in with okay. some cheese. You can put the cheese in too. Sure. We'll mix it all through. So this and is I'm going to put a little. I hope our viewers have these at home because there's no more mm -hmm. fun than cranking a pepper mill. And then you can pretend you're at a really fancy and then, restaurant and say, fresh ground pepper. A fresh restaurant like Butterfer. Mm, and yes. I want to tell viewers, if you ever have thought of coming to the Butterfer, now's the time. This is oh. our season. 
cool autumn nights. Mm, our our menu is dishes. so comfort food and hearty and delicious. You've got a and, great bouillabaisse. base. And steaming bowls of beef bourguignon and this delicious duck and I've had escargot. That was the first that was the first time I've ever had escargot. And it's delicious. That garlicky buttery That's right. sauce that we it's serve in. it in the shell, so just good. like in Pretty Woman, which was at Pea Pack. Mm -hmm. We do it that way. See, so now not only have we got lots of color, everything is beautiful. It looks so good. Thanksgiving's coming. If you yep. want to get a little oh, fancy with it, then it you use it. your shell. I love that. As your bowl, okay? And you serve your squash right there in the bowl. A and beautiful presentation, and that was easy. You don't easy. have to buy a fancy dish. The other thing you can do this time of year, which is pretty cool, baby pumpkins. Yeah. You can serve an individual serving of the squash in your baby pumpkin. That's great. If you really want to have a really beautiful tablescape, mm -hmm. as they call it. Um, so it's, it's simple and easy. Now, the other one we could do is, again, your favorite herb, whether your favorite herb is tarragon with a little sweetness uh -huh. or the rosemary. So let's say you're serving a chicken. Okay. You know rosemary goes with the chicken. Yeah. So now, instead of putting the rosemary all over the chicken, you introduce the complementary spice uh -huh. in the side dish. Oh, wow. Which gives you a little more interplay of flavors. We do this a lot at the restaurant huh. because what we want to do is not be so obvious with right. the flavor, but the flavor's coming in sort of around the bend. And okay? that's, that's a good tip for folks at home. Be mindful of what else is on the plate and make sure all of those flavors will... Exactly. Yeah, will if rosemary's good with chicken, it. it's also really good to put it in your spaghetti squash, which mm -hmm. is a nice neutral sort of canvas. Yeah. And add the color, add the brightness of the rosemary through the butter and rosemary so people have the chicken and then they get yes. this little blast of rosemary and they go, wow, this is so delicious. What a, nice what a great combination. I'm going to move this spaghetti yeah. squash okay. and put this spaghetti squash on the nice plate here because that looks like a beautiful presentation. There yeah. you go. That'll wow your guests. And it was so easy to make. You saw us do it right here. You can get the recipe up at roadshow.com.